Today we're going to be looking at a typical day in a life of what I do. So I typically start off by checking my email and then I'll turn on Slack and uh, get myself up and running there, see what I missed, get my dev environment up and running, and then I will always pull in the latest code onto my branch so that when I start working, I am working with what's most recent. Today, what's on my agenda is I have to, um, I have a stand up this morning and then this afternoon I have a kickoff meeting for a retro. I'm not going to be involved in that retro, but, um, our team has expressed wanting, uh, to be more involved in these kickoff meetings to, so we could figure out like what's going on. So this is going to be like my intro into kickoffs and seeing what it's like at this company because I've had them before, but it's different at every company. So we're going to see what it's like at this company. And then after that, I have another meeting for a retro. It's a retro meeting for what we did for our last project. In between all of that, I have a ticket I'm working on. I have made my changes, but some tests are still failing. So I will be figuring out why in the world the tests hate me. That is going to be my day today. So you will see glimpses of me working and I'll explain what is going on throughout my day. But that's what you expect to see from me today. Hopefully you enjoy it. Hello. I am working on a tech deck ticket and uh, finishing up some additional tests that are working. So uh, that's what I'll be doing. And then uh, probably see if there's any PRs to review um, and see if there's another ticket to work on after I finish up these tests. And I think that's pretty much it. Okay, so I've just finished up my stand up. Um, basically in standups, we just say what we're working on. If we're blocked by anything, if we need help, those are the times that we bring those up and it's, um, standups are at the, towards the beginning of the day. Today, I didn't have anything that I needed help with. So, um, I did not really have much to update on. I did, after my meeting, I worked a little bit and I was able to finally solve what was going on within my branch. One of the tickets I'm working on is a part of another group of tickets, as most tickets are. Um, but what it's doing is it's replacing old functionality with new functionality um, that we have on our back end. And then specifically, it's replacing an old class with a new class. So with that being said, I'm having to go through and within like 30 files, I'm replacing um, some name of reference from an old class to a new class. And because I'm doing that, it's causing some changes elsewhere because maybe the new class doesn't is not behaving the same way as the old one is for whatever reason. So I finally figured it out. It was a time zone issue. So what I was doing is I was calling time it was calling time zone and it was giving me the number for the time zone and it was giving me the actual text for the time zone inside a object and i just i'm calling time zone but it's giving me this big object and all i really want is the name so i changed it to just get the name instead of this big object of information and ta-da it works. So the how I figured that out was just, I had to go old school because I was like, where is it coming from? Because I wasn't seeing anything in my logs. Um, nothing was being output to me as I was, as it was running through the tests. And I was like, what is wrong? So I went through each file and changed, you know, everything and until I came across the error 
of what was happening. It seems tedious. It only really took like 20 minutes, so it wasn't really that bad. But I'm just like, what is happening? So, so happy to figure that out. And I have cracked where the code was breaking. Um, I just wanted to share that with y'all. We're gonna go back to the rest of my day. Um, I typically don't have lunch until about like 12.30 or so. Um, and then once I have lunch, Typically, I, I, I would work, but this afternoon is filled with meetings, so I'll be doing that instead. So anyways, I'll see you guys on the other side of whenever I see you. <laughs> I'm doing pretty good. So I was able to add this one after I went through and like rebuilt locally. And I wasn't able to add, like I just chose like a random one. It always does this. I'm guessing that's supposed to be how it does, and you just click update. Huh. Maybe it was, maybe, maybe it was something that was persisting on the front end, perhaps. I don't know, <laughs> maybe not, I don't know. <laughs> It looks good. Thank you for jumping on a call real quick to look at that. Absolutely. Okay. Take care. I think we did good with, um, as far as like clarifying things, um, I feel like everyone was pretty quick to clarify when clarification was needed. So I had a, a question, um, and this is, not necessarily for this specific retro, but just general, because I know you mentioned that back in purple is not going to be focused on interactive notes. Are we just going to be doing like technical debt tickets? Is that what we should be focused on? Okay. I'm currently wrapping up my day right here with just working on a ticket and trying to get some stuff done before I close out the day. This is generally how I end things is working on a ticket and then also writing down anything that needs to be done for the following day, taking notes where I left off, anything that can be helpful so I can just jump right back in the next day. All right, that's it. That is my day. Thank you for following along with me. Hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next video. Until then, take care of yourself and be kind to others. Peace out y'all.